Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh Sam. What is that? Uh, will you please clarify the status of Bad al Muqaddas and Jerusalem, like being believed as the first Qibla for Muslims around Bad the world? Bad al Muqaddas, okay. In the Quran, you see, Bayt means house and Muqaddas means holy house. Bayt means house and Muqaddas means holy house. So if you go to Jerusalem today and you say, I want to see the Bayt al Muqaddas. So there is the Arabs you speaking Arabic it's in, in Mecca. That is Bayt al Maqdas. <laughs> you understand? Bayt means house. There is no house in Jerusalem as Muqaddas. There is no house. What is there? Uh, the, in the booklet, you open the booklet, I'll show you something. Dome of the Rock. I will read the golden heart of the old city, Islam's Dome of the Rock, gold, and Al Aqsa Mosque, silver. Okay, beyond Al Aqsa Church. Or, so the golden, this, you know, there's a mountain, there's a dome. Dome, dome is the, 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 the gold of the rock. There's a rock inside, small mountain rock is inside that dome. They say dome of the rock. And they, they, it's not a house. House, you understand what is a house? It's a house. So now in, uh, in this, uh, uh, actually this uh, Jerusalem, if you translate Jerusalem in, in, in Arabic, Ero, because Hebrew and Arabic are similar languages. Ero Shalom, Jiru Shalom, okay? So in Arabic, Ero or Jiru, J, 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 they have added in English, would be circle of Islam. So they are trying to say this place is the circle of Islam. Peace. If you say Jerusalem, Muqaddas is Mecca. Ero Shalom, circle of Islam, peace. So that is Mecca again. They have twisted the word and made that as a circle of Islam or peace, which you will never find peace there. So Jerusalem by itself, the word, itself the word means this circle of peace. But you will not find peace there. But what do you mean to the status of Jerusalem? In the Muslim world it is believed as the first Qibla, or is the status of that mosque and uh, was it the first Qibla or? Because Sorry? from the ayats we understand that uh, Kaaba has always been the first Qibla. Yeah, yeah from the Quran. Right. From the Quran, we come to know that this is the first house. The Jews today living there, they have got respect of that area where there's no house. There's no house there. Baitul Maqdas, there's no such thing as Baitul Maqdas in Jerusalem. Maqdas means holy house. There's no holy house there, first of all, I'm telling you. But uh, if you go there and ask this, they will still say there's no house here. But we people are being trained and taught like that, that that is the Bethel Maktas. But what in the, I showed you the picture, they said Dome of the Rock. Right. It doesn't say Bethel Maktas or Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is basically translated as Dar es Salaam. But if you look in the Bible, you know, how this, you know, this, this previous question was talking about Masjid al Qibla and everything. In the concept in the Bible, I read you verse, there's Daniel 6 and 10. Now, when Daniel learned that the degree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened towards Jerusalem. Three times a day he got down on his knees and prayed giving thanks to his God just as he had done before. In Daniel 6 verse 10 in Bible, when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened towards Jerusalem. He was praying towards Jerusalem, the, the Daniel not Muslims. So this concept is being brought up from the Bible. Thank you. Asalaamu Alaikum, Shaykh Sahib. Asalaamu uh, Shaykh Sahib, in, Bani, in Surah Bani Israel, Ayah first, Allah has mentioned about Masjid Aqsa, which is known uh, as a first Qibla. Is that the same mosque? Please clarify. See, in Masjid Aqsa, uh, in, the, in Surah Bani Israel 17 ayah, which is referring to Masjid Aqsa as, uh, as what? As, you are believing as what? Uh, People believe Masjid Aqsa as the first Qibla. First Qibla. Okay. Masjid Aqsa today, or all the mosques of the world, are facing Kaaba. Masjid Aqsa today, if you go to Masjid Aqsa, there, when people pray sometimes on Eid or sometimes they allow. 
So the, that mosque is facing Kaaba. No mosque can be, uh, if a mosque is facing any other direction, can, is not a mosque. You cannot say that Masjid Aqsa is facing Jerusalem. No, that Masjid Aqsa, is, which is recorded in history, and today also people, they say that is Masjid Aqsa, which you refer to Quranic Surah Numbers, Isra 17, 1, what? is referring to you, that mosque is facing Kaaba. How can uh, uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi face a masjid? When he knows that you have to face the Kaaba, not masjid. Okay. But let me analyze for you this ayat. But before that, I would like to show you something. That this is a real photograph of, of Jerusalem or the where Dome of the Rock is. You see in the golden, on the golden form, you will note. You see, you can you see the golden, there's a dome with golden. Bigger dome. Bigger dome there. This bigger dome is known as Dome of the Rock. It says the golden heart of the old city holds Islam's Dome of the Rock. Gold. And Al-Aqsa separate. And Al-Aqsa, more silver foreground. Can you see? The, 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 the smaller the, one. Yeah, the smaller one. Now the question is, all the time, the, the prayer, you know, Janamas are made and they're making this golden Dome of the Rock and has been made all over the world and showing it that this is basically Masjid Aqsa, the Golden Dome. The Golden Dome. But where in the, on the ground, if you go there, there's a separate mosque some, some, from some distance far off, Al-Aqsa. Can you see in the photograph, the small? Yes, small. This is actually Al-Aqsa referred as. But all these years in my life, my, I'm talking about my life, I've been talking to people. People are telling me, this dome of, from the child I was listening to, this dome of rock is Al-Aqsa, Al-Aqsa, this, this golden dome. Now, recently, very recently, this is, no, 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 this is not, this is not this Al-Aqsa. This dome of rock is not Al-Aqsa, this is Al-Aqsa. But recent, I'm talking about recently, that this is Al-Aqsa they refer to, not this. On the ground, they, they're printing this, but in the whole Muslim world, people don't know this. In Pakistan, people think this golden dome of the rock is Al-Aqsa Mosque. Well, they, they say Islam's Dome of the Rock. Islam's Dome of the Rock, but an Al-Aqsa's Mosque, silver. But propagation by the so-called label Muslims, and all these guys are propagated in this mosque, the golden one, not Al-Aqsa, uh, the, the silver one. True. Recent, but very recent, they have now come, they are trying to say this is the one, because I've, I'm talking a long time back, this lecture was sent all over the world. Right. So now, first of all, when all these years, my lifetime they were making confusion so they must be making confusion before which is Al-Aqsa Mosque we'll analyze today okay. by the Quranic ayat if you read Surah, surah 17 1 Subhanallah asra bi abdi layla min al-masjid haram ila al-masjid al-asr ladhi barakna hawlaw li nuriyaw min ayatina inna was samil wasir glory to him who, take, who did take his servants in the night from the sacred mosque Towards the fathers or the Al-Aqsa Mosque, its surroundings we have blessed, so that we show him our ayah signs, surely his listener who is who has insight. Now, if you look in this to this, this Al-Aqsa Mosque is mentioned in the Quran only once. Masjid al-Ram is mentioned many number of times. This Al-Aqsa is, is once. Now, how would we understand that this Al-Aqsa the, all the people say that Jerusalem Mosque is Al-Aqsa, but, but I just now show you a photograph that they were showing the Dome of the Rock at Al-Aqsa Mosque all these years. Okay. Dome of the Rock is separate, Al-Aqsa Mosque in, in ground is separate, and they're showing it to the world, Muslim world and non-Muslim world, that Dome of the Rock is Al-Aqsa Mosque. And on, on our uh, prayer mats, they are also showing that. True. Dome of the Rock, photograph, you know, made. So we have to understand what is, where is Aqsa Mosque and where it is basically. So if you read the same ayat again with an observation, Subhanalladhi asra bi abdi layla min al Glory to him who did take his servant by night from the sacred mosque, in the night, from the sacred mosque. For example, this is a mosque, from this mosque, this is a mosque. From this mosque, by night is going towards Masjid Aqsa. Masjid Aqsa. This Masjid Aqsa, you know, this Masjid Aqsa, going from this place. Now, the Aqsa is defined, Alladhi barakna hawlau. 
that we have made blessings around it. This Al-Aqsa Mosque. There is a blessing around this Al-Aqsa Mosque. There are numerous Al-Aqsa Mosques in the world, numerous, worldwide. How would you identify which is Al-Ladi Barakna Haulu? This is the address and identification that this mosque is blessed. Blessing, you'll find blessing. And now this word becomes vague. What blessing? This is Mubarak. Masjidram. So you, if you go and see that place, Mubarak, that area, Masjidram, sacred mosque, you will see the blessing. Sure. So same blessing you must show me in Jerusalem, that Al-Aqsa Mosque. Can you no. see? No, you cannot see. So now the ayah says, this Allah and Allah says, uh, ayah says, Allah di barak na hawlaw. So his blessing should be similar, what blessing is here, that mosque. So in Al-Aqsa, in Jerusalem mosque, there is no blessing. True. No blessing shown as, as you can see in Masjidah is, is in security. So you have to use your mind. Ayat cannot go wrong. You have to think and which mosque can be equivalent or near enough to have that blessing is Masjid Aram. You think yourself. Uh, in Madina Munawara Masjid al Nabi. Okay, that's right. Subhanallah asra bi abdi layla min al Masjid Haram ila al Masjid al Saladi barakna hawlaw li nuriyaw min ayatina inna wa samil wasid. Glory to him who, take, who did take his servants in the night from the sacred mosque towards the fathers or the Al-Aqsa mosque, his surroundings we have blessed, so that we show him our ayah signs, surely his listener who, is, who has insight. So he did not go to Jerusalem mosque, he went to Medina. And we know this, he went to Medina and that, that Medina mosque is blessed. And if you go there in, in Saudi Arabia, they say Haramain Sharif. They give the same respect like this you give, they give to this. My question is when Quran speaks of Al-Aqsa, Quran speaks of Al-Aqsa, this Madina Mosque is not mentioned in the Quran. If you do not agree that this is Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Prophet's Mosque is Al-Aqsa Mosque, why Quran left out the Mosque of Prophet? Where you are giving the importance to an equivalent to a sacred mosque, and you are saying that this is done in the Quran. Al-Aqsa Mosque is this, which you are, we say is prophet, uh, Prophet's Mosque. Another thing is, Masjid al-Haram, sacred mosque, does not, if you go in the whole, or go around the whole sacred mosque, it is not written anywhere, sacred, uh, Masjid al-Haram in Arabic. But nowhere you'll find any world in any part of the world, a mosque without a name except Masjid Ram in Mecca and except in Masjid, Masjid Nabi. There is no mention Masjid Nabi is not written on it. Why don't you write? And in the house, on the doors they are written, this door is this and this door is this and this door is you entered because you have to memorize which door you went, so they have written a name on it. Okay. But they do not write Masjid the Haram By because name. it is known in the ayahs. By Allah. So nobody writes in it. Similarly, you go to Masjid Nabi, which is Al-Aqsa. Al because Prophet, Allah took the Prophet, it is named after him. So this is Al-Aqsa Mosque. Because it's in Barakat, it is Al-Aqsa Mosque. Now what is that Mosque, what's going on there? That Jerusalem Mosque, what do you find? Barakat, blessing, no. what? What do you find? Uh, wars. wars, fighting. Fighting. So you open Surah Tawbah, 9107 Ayat. وَالَّذِينَ تَخَذُوا مَسْجِدًا ذِرَارًا ذَرَارًا وَكُفْرًا وَتَفْرِيقًا بَيْنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَإِصَادًا لِمَنْ حَارَبَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولًا مِنْ قَبَلُ وَلَا يَحْلِفُنَّ إِنَ رَدْنَا إِلَّا الْحُسْنَى وَاللَّهُ يَشْهَدُوا إِنَّهُمْ لَكَاذِبُونَ And these hypocrites who have taken a mosque to harm, to reject and to make divisions between the believers and as an ambush, hidden place for a sudden attack who have been waging war against Allah his messenger from before and definitely they swear their, un their intentions is nothing except goodness and Allah testifies that surely they are definitely liars. Now there is a mosque described in the Quran as Zarar, Zarar. So they said this mosque was in, in Medina and it was dissolved, finished. But the ayah said they are holding, Takhadu means they are holding. Walladina takhadu, they are holding to a mosque 
for do loss, harm, wa kufran, rejection, wa tafrikam bil mumin, among the beast to uh, separate the believers. Tafrikam bain al mumin, the believers will be divided. Wa sada liman harab Allah wa rasulum in qabal. And they, they, uh, they have been making as an ambush for a sudden attack who have been waging war against Allah and His Messenger from before. When I was born, not from today, from the beginning of the time, so to say, whenever the system started in mankind, they made a mosques to wage war against Allah and His Messenger. Who are those? Among us hypocrites, who says, Wala yahla funna illa And they say, Our intentions is nothing but good. Wallahu ya shadu innam lakatibun. Allah is being witness, they're liars. That's not a laksa mosque. That is zarar mosque. It will remain till the day, day of judgment. You can never ever bring peace there. And you can never ever create wars in Mecca and Medina. Because Allah says, Aman. This will remain Al-Aqsa is Barakat, it will remain Barakat. That's the blessing. These ayahs, you, the whole world knows this. Barakat in Mecca and Medina, blessings of Allah is there. You will see till the day of judgment. But like for years and years, bloodshed is going on in Jerusalem for years. And it will keep on. And why? Because it says that further. Then Allah compares these two mosques. The mosque is Aram and that mosque. La taqum fi abada. Do not go and stand in that mosque. So, you see, by, uh, by I don't know how and how, all Muslim countries boycott Israel. You can't go there. Muslim is not allowed to go there. True. So, Allah says, La taqum fiyah, nobody goes there. La musjidun usisa la taqwa min awwal yawm. And the mosque that is made on taqwa from the first day. Inna wala baytim wa masiram. Inna wala baytim wa yalina saladi bi bakkadam wa. The first day. A haqwan taquma fi. It is better that you stand, uh, more right that you stand in it. What You have to take from that standing position that that it is better that uh, more right that you stand therein. In the Masjidah, people want to remain, who are those people who are standing, who are purified. Wallahu yuhabbil mutahirin and Allah loves those who are purified. So Allah made a comparison between this Masjid Haram and the Masjid Zarar. And that is not lost. It says there are people who are holding fast to it to wage war against Allah and His Messenger and make as an ambush where the whole the, the, the crime is going on all over the world from the among the hypocrites, among so-called Muslims, there are hypocrites also. Allah also describes about the hypocrites. Who are those? They are not Christians, they are not Jews, they are not Hindus. Among, are, us. Huh? among us. Among the Muslim community, among they are hypocrites. And I intend to deliver a lecture on, on hypocrites also. Because according to them, they say this mosque that was in Medina was made by hypocrites. So I am also saying that these hypocrites are still existing, they have not vanished. So I am saying these are the people who are holding fast till today that mosque. And it will remain, it will not finish. And that Al-Aqsa, Medina Masjid Al-Aqsa Mosque. So if somebody argues you, you ask him, show me the Prophet's mosque. You give the first priority to Masjid Ram, second priority you give to Masjid Nabi, which you say is not mentioned in the Quran, but that Al-Aqsa is mentioned and you, why give third priority? Why you give third priority to that? Why don't you give second priority to Al-Aqsa, Jerusalem Mosque? But blessings are not there. No, he knows in the back of the mind. He knows this is the Masjid Nabi, Al-Aqsa Mosque. He knows, but he doesn't want to tell, you know, he's so afraid of the people. You know, the Quran describes an ayah which is Al-Aqsa Mosque and the blessing is there and you can see it also, you can verify also. But since the people have twisted this and made that as a first house, as a Qibla, a direction of belief, you are changing the direction of belief of mankind that you are saying that this is Al-Aqsa Mosque. Jerusalem Mosque is the Al-Aqsa Mosque. But the ayat gives the address, the blessing should, that is the identification and how you recognize it. The Allah said that blessing is there. Blessing. So Masjid Nabi is Al-Aqsa Mosque because Prophet was there, gone there and that is why. Then again they say, they say I'm telling you, that there are Makki ayats and there are Madani ayat. Yeah. So this was living in Makkah and this was living in Medina. Where, can you show me any J Jerusalem ayat? From Jerusalem, because he went to Jerusalem, yeah. he went to skies. Then some ayats, Allah spoke to him there, then my ayat will be there also. You see? Right. That's the other way around. Yeah. So you know what Masjid Aqsa is, Jerusalem Mosque. Jerusalem. Thank you.